Imagine a supersonic sea-skimming missile flying just feet above the waves, closing in on a billion-dollar warship. The ship's defenses have seconds to react. A hatch flies open, and a small, compact missile is launched vertically into the air. But instead of flying straight towards the threat, it seems to pause, turn 180 degrees in mid-air, and then accelerate at incredible speed to intercept the incoming missile from behind. This is not science fiction. This is Sea Scepter, the Royal Navy's revolutionary new air defense system. It is a pocket-sized bodyguard, a game-changing piece of technology that provides a 360-degree shield of protection and is making the Royal Navy's frigates among the best defended warships in the world. For many years, the Royal Navy's frigates were protected by the Seawolf missile system. When it was introduced in the 1970s, Seawolf was a world beater, the first system designed to shoot down small, fast-moving anti-ship missiles. It proved its worth in the Falklands War. But by the 2000s, Seawolf was aging. The nature of the threat had evolved. Modern anti-ship missiles are faster, stealthier, and more agile. Warships now face the danger of coordinated saturation attacks from multiple directions at once. A system that could only engage one target at a time was no longer sufficient. The Royal Navy needed a replacement, and that replacement is Sea Scepter. Sea Scepter is a huge leap forward in capability. The system is based on the Key AMM, or Common Anti-Air Modular Missile. The missile itself is small and lightweight, but it is packed with advanced technology. Its defining feature is its soft vertical launch system. When the command to fire is given, a gas generator ejects the missile from its canister, throwing it about 100 feet into the air. Only when it is clear of the ship does the missile's own rocket motor ignite. This soft launch system is safer, puts less stress on the ship's structure, and allows the missile to be packed more densely in its silo. This initial vertical launch is what gives Sea Scepter its 360-degree engagement capability. Because it is launched straight up, it doesn't matter which direction the threat is coming from. Once in the air, the missile receives targeting data from the ship's radar via a two-way data link. It can be launched before the ship's radar has even locked onto the target, a capability known as lock-on after launch. The missile flies out to the general vicinity of the threat, and then, in the final phase of its flight, it activates its own active radar seeker to home in for the kill. This makes the system incredibly flexible and responsive. The missile itself is hyper-agile, able to pull high G-turns to intercept even the most maneuverable targets. It has a range of over 25 kilometers, far greater than the old Sea Wolf, and it is effective against a wide range of threats, from anti-ship missiles and fighter jets to helicopters and drones. One of Sea Scepter's biggest advantages is its ability to deal with saturation attacks. Because the system does not rely on a dedicated fire control radar to illuminate the target, it can guide multiple missiles to engage multiple targets simultaneously. This is a critical advantage in the modern battle space, where a ship might have to deal with a swarm of incoming threats. The system has been fitted to the Royal Navy's Type 23 frigates as part of their life extension program, dramatically enhancing the capabilities of these older warships. It will also be the primary air defense weapon for the new Type 26 and Type 31 frigates, making it the cornerstone of the escort fleet's defenses for decades to come. The development of Sea Scepter is a major success story 
for the British defense industry. It is a world-leading system that has attracted significant international interest. Its modular design means it can be easily integrated into a wide variety of ships, and a land-based version is also in service with the British Army. The technology behind Sea Scepter is a revolution in naval defence. It provides a level of protection that was previously only available on much larger and more expensive destroyers. It turns every frigate in the fleet into a potent air defence asset, a bodyguard capable of protecting itself and other higher value ships like air aircraft carriers and supply vessels. In an era of ever more sophisticated aerial threats, Sea Scepter is the shield that ensures the Royal Navy's surface fleet can operate and fight in the world's most dangerous waters. It is the pocket-sized protector that guarantees the survival of the fleet. For more deep dives into the revolutionary technologies that are giving modern militaries the edge, subscribe to our channel.